Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, this is specifically for print on demand sellers. I'm going to be comparing placeit.net for doing your designs compared to canva.com. Now these are two very popular platforms for creating designs and they both work extremely well for creating t-shirt designs. I have a ton of experience with both of them and that's why I wanted to put this video together to go over the pros and the cons of both of these and see how they stack up compared to each other. To all of you guys returning to the channel, welcome back and thank you guys for all the support. You guys do not let me down on every video you show me with likes and comments, so thank you, I really do appreciate that. To those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Greg and I like to talk about online entrepreneurship and sharing the resources that I wish I had along my journey. So if you're interested in making money online, feel free to look around the channel because you're going to find a lot of things that typically you would have to pay for in courses. The few quick things we have to cover are first, if there's any detailed videos that I refer to throughout this video, they will be linked down in the description, along with discount codes and coupons for these websites. Additionally, I'm going to break this down into a table of contents, so you'll see that down in the description, and you'll be able to jump around this video to different parts and different comparison features should you need to. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start the comparison between placeit.net and canva.com. So first things first, I'm going to break this down into the important categories so you guys have all the information you need to make an educated decision on which one's right for you. So starting out with the first category that's probably most important for most people is the price. So what is the price of placeit.net and how does it compare to canva.com? So starting with placeit.net, placeit.net offers a monthly subscription or an annual subscription. Unfortunately, they don't have a free plan that you can use. With that being said, if you choose to pay monthly, it's about $15 per month. If you choose to pay annually, it's about $100 per year. Now, before you go sign up on one of those, I do have a coupon code, a discount link down in the description, which brings it down 15% off. So it's about $12 per month or $80 per year. Now coming over to canva.com, Canva has two options. They have a free forever plan, so obviously you don't have to pay for anything. It's completely free to use. Now that is very attractive. However, some of the features that we really do need, like a transparent background, which I will talk about later in this video, you have to pay for their premium plan, which is $9.99 per month. Now Canva doesn't do discount codes or coupons, so it is $10 per month. So now that we have price out of the way, I'm going to reference back to it a few more times throughout this video. However, I'd like to move into the second biggest comparison factor that I think is important and a lot of people overlook. This comparison factor is in regards to commercial usage rights. Essentially what commercial usage rights are when you create a design and you download it from the design tool, can you actually profit from that design? Can you sell it on print on demand and make a profit legally? On some design tools, you do not have commercial usage rights. So whatever you create on there is only for personal use, which does not work for us in print on demand. So with that being said, starting with placeit.net, anything and everything you create on there has full commercial usage rights. Additionally, one step further, they even give you reselling rights. So if you create a design, you can resell that design to a company. For example, if someone wants you to create a logo or create a t-shirt design for them, you can create it on there and sell it to them directly. But with that being said, the important thing to us is anything you create on placeit.net comes with full commercial usage rights so you can profit from those designs with print on demand. Now switching over to canva.com, both on their free plan and their premium plan, they both come with commercial usage rights. A lot of people have been skeptical about this because they haven't been able to find it. However, it's right in their terms and it says that you can use it commercially. Now moving on to the third category here, and that is what are the selection of t-shirt design templates? At the end of the day, the most important thing that we are using these design tools for is creating our t-shirt designs. So how is the selection on both of these websites? Can you get good templates to create good designs? So the short answer here is placeit.net has one of the largest libraries of t-shirt designs and they are always adding new ones. So you're always going to find fresh templates that you can design with. Now with that being said, before we switch over to Canva, one other thing that I really like about placeit.net in regards to t-shirt designing is that they have a logo design tool, which I personally use for t-shirt designs. It's not meant for t-shirt designs. However, it works really well because it allows you to create intricate designs that typically are not offered in t-shirt design templates on any website. Now, this is going to be the first reference to a video down in the description. I made a video on the channel showing how to use this logo tool for t-shirt designs. So I'll link that up down in the description if you want to watch that for more detail. Now switching over to canva.com, both on their free and on their premium plan, they do have a good selection of t-shirt designs. The only issue you're going to run into here is on the free plan, you have very limited access to what icons and illustrations you can use. All of the fonts will be included just like the premium plan. However, it's the illustrations, the photos, the other items that you wanna put into your design that they may require you to upgrade to their premium plan to get access to them. 
Now, before we move on to the next comparison, there's one more important thing that we need to discuss in regards to t-shirt design templates. What this is, is transparent backgrounds. When you're creating a t-shirt design, you need to be able to save it with a transparent background. So when you upload that design onto a print on demand website, it only shows your design and not a white background. Now over on placeit.net, this is a selection that you can just click and export, it's very easy. Over on Canva, it differs between the two plans. So if you're on the free plan, you are not able to use the transparent background feature. It shows it to you, but you can't click it unless you upgrade to their premium plan. With that being said, if you do upgrade to the premium plan, you can just click it and export with a transparent background. So that is something that's very important to know, and hopefully that saves you some time and some hassle of trying to figure that out over on Canva. So moving right along to the next way that these two compare, and that is in regards to mockups. Mockups are a very important part of the overall strategy of getting sales with print on demand. I've made other videos on this channel talking about how you use mockups on Instagram to drive free traffic over to your storefronts to get sales. However, with that being said, essentially what a mockup is, if you're not familiar, is you create your design on whichever design tool you're using and you choose a model image and essentially you upload your t-shirt design and it goes onto the model's shirt. This is a really cool feature and it only takes a couple of seconds, but then it gives you images of what your print on demand designs would look like on models. Trust me, when you're in this business, this is something that's very important because it doesn't make sense realistically and from a business standpoint to go buy all of your inventory, hire models and hire a professional photographer to get these types of photos. So with that being said, placeit.net offers mockups and they're actually known for their mockups over their t-shirt designs. So to put it in perspective of how many mockups and how good their mockups are, that's what Placeit is known for. Additionally, before I was even using Placeit for t-shirt designing, I was using Placeit for their mockups alone. So Placeit's got the mockups covered, moving over to canva.com, both on their free and on their premium plan, they do not offer mockups at all. As we're going through this video, you're going to notice that this is the biggest divide between the two. When you're paying for something like Placeit, it's about $12 per month, as opposed to using Canva, whether that's free or about $10 per month, the biggest difference is that you're going to get unlimited mockups if you're using placeit.net. Now, I think you guys know where I stand on placeit.net and why I use it, but there is a lot to be said about their mockup photos. They even have mockup videos and a bunch of extra features for a couple dollars extra per month compared to Canva. However, this is not the end of the comparison. There are a few other important factors to bring in between placeit.net and canva.com. The next way that these compare is actually very quick, and that is in regards to social media templates. So when you're creating posts on social media, you may need just a quick template to fill in the information and have all of the hard work done for you. Both placeit.net and both versions of Canva, the free and the premium, they all have social media templates. So if you don't have a budget for any design tool and you need social media templates, the free version of Canva is definitely going to be the clear winner for you. Now there are two more important things that I think you need to know when you're comparing placeit.net and canva.com, starting with the design graphics. When we look at placeit.net, if you have a subscription with them, you basically have unlimited graphics and they are graphics that I have not seen on any other design website. You essentially type in anything that you are looking for and they give you all the different graphics that you can use. You don't have to pay an upcharge to use any of them and they are all completely commercially usable. Additionally, one of the reasons that I prefer to use Placeit is that when you go over to their logo section for creating t-shirt designs, again, I put a video on this down in the description, but over there, you're able to click a graphic and it actually integrates it into the design. Now, this is something that I've never seen in a design tool before, but it essentially reworks the text and reconfigures the design to integrate that graphic. When you're using something else like Canva, for example, when you click to add a graphic, it just adds it to your canvas. Now, once it's on your canvas, you have to decide where it goes. You can put it in the background, you can put it to the side anywhere you want. However, it's not going to be fully integrated in just one click into your design. As you've likely heard me talk about before in print on demand, it's all about efficiency. If you're spending hours on a single design, just to make it perfect, you're not gonna be able to create enough designs to really have a lot of success in print on demand. Now, when you have a tool that you just click the graphic and it fully integrates it into the design for you, that saves you a lot of time. Now, I certainly hope this doesn't sound like a broken record, but you're starting to see why I really prefer using Placeit. Now, staying on the topic of graphics, when you come over to canva.com, if you're on the free plan, you will have a selection of graphics. They're not going to be worked into the design for you, but you will be able to use completely free graphics commercially. Now, as you start scrolling through them, you're going to see that a lot of them are locked. So you have to upgrade to the premium plan on Canva to get access to those locked graphics. Now, again, even with those locked graphics, they won't be worked into the design for you. So with all of that being said, there's just one more important thing that I think you should know if you're considering placeit.net or canva.com for creating t-shirt designs. 
Now what this topic is, is sizing the actual designs. When you're uploading to Teespring, Redbubble, and Merch by Amazon, which are the three that I highly recommend, you'll see that Teespring and Redbubble do not have size requirements. So you can download your design straight from placeit.net or canva.com, really anywhere that you're making the design, and upload it straight to these websites without any issues. You can create one design and you can actually legally upload that same design to all three of these websites because they're non-exclusive. However, when you come into the third one, which is Merch by Amazon, they have specific size requirements for your designs. For the most part, the design size is 4,500 pixels by 5,400 pixels for most of their items. If you wanna upload that same design to all three of them very quickly, you have to make sure that that design is formatted for Merch by Amazon. The other two websites do not have a specific format, so you can upload the same size that you uploaded to Merch by Amazon to the others as well. With that said, the most efficient way to do this, speaking from experience, is to create your designs pre-formatted for Merch by Amazon and just use that same file for the other two as well. So this brings in the question of, can you create designs in 4,500 pixels by 5,400 pixels on placeit.net and on canva.com? The short answer is yes, on both of these you can. On placeit.net, you can create your design, go into downloads and simply click resize and save that design at any design size that you would like. That's a very simple way to do it. Moving over to canva.com, yes, you will technically be able to do this on the free version and the premium version, However, remember, if you're doing it on the free version, you will not be able to save that design with a transparent background. So although you'll have it in the right size, you will still have to go to another tool to remove that background and make sure it stays in the same size. So you have to upgrade to the Canva Premium, then you can save the design in the proper size with a transparent background. So guys, I know that was a lot of information and very quickly, if you need to refer back to any of these sections, remember there's a table of contents down in the description. Additionally, the 15% off coupon for placeit.net is down in the description, along with more detailed videos on how to use different features on placeit.net and canva.com. I hope this video has saved you a lot of time in researching and trying these out for yourself. If you have any questions between the two of these, just let me know down in the comments and I can answer them and help you out and hopefully save you even more time. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a thumbs up. I certainly appreciate that and I will be seeing you guys all in the next video.